something wrong with my heart. Um, and I'd been to the doctor and the doctor gave me some medicine, but the medicine wasn't working. And I kept uh, getting higher blood pressure. So it was, uh, it was getting really bad, you know, even to the point where I, I had pain in my chest. Um, and one evening I was uh, lying in bed and I said, Lord, I need a new heart. Could you please uh, arrange something? Because I know that uh, heaven has every spare part that I need. Um, so if it's possible, that would be really good <laughs> to get a new heart. <laughs> so so um, I fell asleep and uh, all of a sudden there was an angel standing in front of me. And I said, who are you? He said, uh, my name's Nathaniel. And he said, I'm, uh, I was ordered to bring you into heaven because you needed some spare parts. <laughs> so I said, oh, well, uh, I'm ready. Yeah, sure, why not? So he grabbed my hand mm. and up we went together. And uh, wow. so it's strange. I don't know whether I was um, in the flesh, out the flesh. I don't know. But what I do know is that I was up flying above the earth. And I looked down and I saw the earth down, way down. And um, we came to this uh, gate um, halfway. I should say, and uh, he, he took out a big key and he opened the lock and then he opened up a hatch where we passed through. i never heard anybody say or speak of this before, but uh, it was really amazing. And I said, what is this? He, he said, this is the, the doorway that goes to heaven and only if you have the key. And I said, does man have the key? And he said, no, no man has the key. Only Yeshua HaMashiach, the Christ, holds the key. And the angels, of course, could need to go up and down. So up we went through the hatch, and um, then we passed through a whole lot of clouds. I remember seeing very thick clouds, and all of a sudden the, the clouds just disappeared. And I looked down, and I saw this magnificent city. It was absolutely amazing how big and how 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 gleaming it was. It, uh, it looked so beautiful, and the angel took out um, a veil and put it over my eyes and I asked him why did you put uh, why did you put this veil over my eyes and he said so as you I, if I don't do this it's protection protection yes protection that you might want to go want to stay here I said oh okay well so I, they put on the veil and we went down and uh, and then I heard the angel shout with a big trumpet he said behold the Lion of the tribe of Judah. And all of a sudden we were standing in front of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. And uh, I was standing in front of him and it was just so amazing that uh, he had his arms wide open and he, he welcomed me and I saw, looked at his hands and I saw the holes in his hands and his feet and I saw that they were healed but they were still open wounds as you could say but they were healed but you could see right through them and I said Lord did it hurt and he said it was excruciating he said but not as excruciating as as the pain of my children who continue on sinning and then so we started to cry I started to cry and Jesus cried with me and together we were just crying for us for a few minutes. That's what seemed like a few minutes. And then he said, oh, then it's enough crying now. Um, come, I need to show you around. So he showed me some things. Um, I was so beautiful while walking on streets of gold. Uh, it was absolutely beautiful and amazing. And he said, um, so you've come for some parts, have you? And I said, yes, I need a new heart. And he said, well, follow me. So we fo I followed him into this warehouse where there were all spare parts hanging everywhere. So I just believe that every Christian and even everybody who needs spare parts just have to ask Jesus because he'll give it. All right. So he came, he sent Nathaniel off to get me a new heart and he came back with a golden platter and on the platter was a beating heart. So he picked the heart up and put it in my chest and I felt the warmth as the heart went in. Absolutely amazing. So and then he, he gave me some other spare parts, like my skin was needed uh, some refreshing. 
he gave me a new skin <laughs> and uh, he showed me around uh, but he also gave me a, a very quick message of what to tell my children when I got back and he also gave me some spare parts for my wife he was so so loving and so kind I was as I was standing there with him the love was radiating from him Maybe you've heard that before. Maybe you've also heard stories of people who have been to heaven and, and come back. But the love there is so thick. It's, it's as if you can just touch it, you know. It's so amazing, so wonderful. And I wrote down a few things that God wanted me to tell his, his children. The first thing that God told me was, that Jesus told me was, don't listen to your governments. Only trust me. If your government tells you to do something, do the opposite. Hmm. If they tell you to take a vaccine, that was the second thing he told me, reject it. And especially if they force it on you, then don't take it. Hmm. 